All right, so what's going on, guys? Today's topic of the day is why I don't get excited for video game trailers. And there's a very good reason for this. The reason why I don't get excited for trailers is because if you really look at it... Oh, wait, 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 stop, stop, stop. I meant to mention this, and I completely almost forgot. Um, I wanted to, you know, I wanted to point out that I'm playing with a YouTuber today, someone who's a lot bigger than me. His name is, well, he has several names. Uh, his first channel was Ronald, Ronaldinho1224, and his other channel was, I think, Ron's Gamertag, and now he's Ronnie Ron. So, uh, playing with a YouTuber, Ronaldinho, and, um, yeah, basically, in this match, we just completely destroy the other team. But, um, okay, why I don't get excited for video game trailers, or why I don't really care for them. Um, the thing about the trailers is that any company that makes a trailer, you know, it's advertising, right? And when you advertise, the idea is to make is to make your product seem as awesome as humanly possible. That's the idea for advertising. You want to make whatever you're doing seem awesome. And you know, for you know, for video games, that's all good and it's all fine and dandy, but if you think about it, they're only showing you the awesome stuff in the trailer, which again, you're probably like, "Wait a minute, hold on." Nothing you're saying, I mean, nothing you're saying is really making sense. What I mean by, you know, all they want to do is show you the awesome stuff, I just basically mean they're not showing you what makes these games bad. Or they're not showing you what makes these games annoying. Cause, and I'm pretty sure everybody in this world, you know, even you watching this video, I'm pretty sure that you've been hyped for a game and then when it came out, it did not meet the expectations in the slightest. For instance, um, I'll take Watch Dogs for an example. And that's, you know, first, I'm going to wait for that because that's actually the second topic that I wanted to kind of get into. But first of all, um, yeah, they show you all the awesome stuff in the trailers and they don't show you, the, you know, the bad stuff. Like when they make these trailers, they want you to leave. They want you, they want the trailer ending and they want you to think, you know, wow, I got to buy that game. Think about it at E3. All they do is show you the awesome stuff in these games. They don't show you what makes the game annoying, what makes the game bad. And when you pop the game in, for instance, I'll use Call of Duty as an example. Every year they do a Call of Duty multiplayer reveal. You look at it, you're like, oh my god, this looks so cool, I can't wait to play it. When the game comes out, surely there's something either groundbreaking or it's just something that just annoys the living crap out of you. For instance, if you were to go back a couple of years and you watch the Modern Warfare 2 trailer and then you look at uh, the multiplayer reveal for Modern Warfare 2 and then you hop into the game several months later the game is broken due to noob tubes did we now mind you did they ever show noob tubes in the Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer reveal I highly doubt it I don't even think they did multiplayer reveals back then but I'm pretty sure I'm positive they had a trailer and they did not show um, they did not show the annoying BS that is noob tube. See, th these are things that they don't put in their trailers because they want you to they want you to buy their game and they don't want you to experience the BS until you actually buy the game. Now, I'm not saying all games are terrible and you shouldn't watch any trailers. I'm just saying, you know, me personally, I don't think trailers really do trailers don't do anything for me unless it's a single player game that I know is going to be good. For instance, Metal Gear Solid 5. I know it's going to be good. Like I, every Metal Gear game I've ever played has been awesome. Every single one. So I know Metal Gear Solid 5 is going to be good. And when they did the when they did the reveal at the uh, at E3 and all that, I was excited because I know it's going to be great. I played Ground Zeroes. I absolutely loved it. And then on top of that, we also have uh, apparently that's multiplayer now. And I mean, I don't know how that's going to play out, but so far it looks decent. Like I said, they haven't showed you anything annoying. That they haven't showed anything too annoying. So you know, I mean, I really don't know. Or, I mean, actually, anything annoying at all. They haven't shown me anything that's really bothered me at all so far. So, I mean, basically, you know, that's that. But, uh, like I said with, you know, game trailers, is that they don't really get, they don't really show, they don't really give us any anything, you know, to, they don't give us anything to judge the game. Because, like I said, all they want to do is they make you want to buy the game, and, you know, which is understandable, but at the same time, you know, we don't know what to expect. Like I said, Advanced Warfare. When they did the multiplayer reveal trailer, I was not excited in the slightest. I was like, whoa. You know, I was like, oh gosh. Like, you know, I was doing all that, but I wasn't like, oh my god, I gotta buy this game. I had to actually sit back on Twitch and watch a gameplay of the game before I got excited. Now, there were some things that I did see in the trailer that did get me excited because it's things that, you know, I'm glad to see that are finally back. But ultimately, I don't get excited over any game due to the trailer i need to see actual gameplay like metal, like um for instance another i mean another example uh mortal kombat x when they released that trailer which keep in mind that was not gameplay in the slightest that that crap there was no gameplay involved that was just strictly fighting 
it was Scorpion and Sub Zero. And by the way, spoilers for who has not seen this trailer. If you have not seen the Mortal Kombat X trailer, I advise you to pause this video and then go ahead and head to the uh, trailer so you can watch it and come back to this video. But basically, all it is is a cool music, uh, cool Wiz Khalifa music playing as Scorpion and Sub Zero fight. It's basically what it is. And at the end, Scorpion kills Sub Zero. Yeah, it's cool. Like I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna deny that. Watching that was amazing and cool. But people are over here getting hyped, saying, "Oh, it's gonna be the best game ever." I can't wait to come out, dude. You haven't even seen gameplay. How can you say this is the best game ever when you haven't even seen any kind of gameplay? Like, that doesn't make sense to me. I mean, yeah, the visuals on that trailer looked cool, but it's not gameplay. We need game Gameplay is what makes games awesome. I'd rather have a game with amazing gameplay and lacking graphics as opposed to amazing graphics and lacking gameplay. For instance, Watch Dogs. Watch Dogs, well, that, that, actually, that game was a bit of a... Uh, that game was actually in like a class of its own. I mean, it really wasn't uh, like the best way to put Watch Dogs. Well, no, no, I mean, no, nah, no. Nah, you know, screw Watch Dogs. I'm, I'm about to get into that right now. Okay, for instance, um, what's another game? Uh, Titanfall. For instance, Titanfall had great game. It had great gameplay and everything, but it lacked content. And that's another thing. We don't know what the kind of content that's in these games. All we know is just graphics. And what these developers show us like you know we don't get to see the full thing now if they were to do a, a full and like if they drop trailers completely if they completely stop doing trailers and they decided to you know if they decided to make games and um, you know give us gameplay like uh, a 30 minute gameplay trailer like that I think I would like that for every game that comes out for the rest of time if, like, if they did that that'd be cool because that way we would get to see you know kind of what's in the game as as they play like the multiplayer reveals just have the have the developers play the game and it's like for 30 minutes we just watch that you know just don't show us too much of the game so uh yeah basically that's it for um that's basically it for that one um and now one thing i want to talk about is you know this game this year's games just seem so mediocre because if you think about it let's look at titanfall titanfall great gameplay lacks content Watch Dogs, it was so hyped along with titanfall so hyped lacked content the game was just super duper long which which you know is a good thing i love me a long game but that game lacked so much content and it was frankly boring like it just like it just seems like these games like for instance metal gear solid 5 ground zeros they originally tried to sell the game for 60 but i remember they had this dispute and they dropped it to like 30 and 30 bucks for two hours of gameplay i mean yeah there's a spec op missions but you only have that one main mission and that's all that's 30 bucks for that like i mean a lot of people didn't even play the spec op missions and i think that's kind of that's kind of ridiculous. Like I feel like just right now they're just dropping the ball. They're dropping the ball hard. Um, you know, Destiny's also getting hype. I've never played that before, but I feel like you know me personally, I just feel like this game's gonna flop because you know if you look at the track record of games that've been coming out for the Xbox One and the uh, ba yeah basically next gen games, they've just been pretty. Not all of them, of course, but a couple of them have been pretty uh, pretty lacking. Like they haven't delivered like they like they made it seem like they would. You know. Like all these trailers and all this hype. Because if you think about it, a lot of games have been getting a lot of hype. Um, Destiny's been getting hype. Titanfall was getting hype. Watch Dogs was getting hype. All these games get so much hype. And then it's like when they come out, they just flop. Like, I, and then mind you, I heard uh, Destiny was kind of boring. Like I said, I heard, I've never played it. I'm not, you know, I'm not judging the game by no means. I'm just saying what I hear. I hear the game is boring. So, I mean, I, I really don't know. I don't know how these games are going to turn out. And it just seems like this year, you know, 2014, a lot of these games are just kind of mediocre. They don't really, they don't really uh, seem to deliver too much. And, you know, it, I think that's due to the fact that, like, some developers just, they're just not trying. I'm not saying Kojima's not trying I'm, and uh, Respawn Entertainment is not trying. I just feel like a lot of these games are just lacking major content. And I feel that, you know... I feel like they should really step up their game. You know, you know like, they, and also that game Rise, that was also getting hype at the time, and that game is terrible. Like, that game is absolutely, like, I forgot what it's called. It's called Rise, the, the Gladiator game, the, 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 not the Metal Gear ripoff, but the God of War ripoff. So, yeah, basically, that's it. That's all I want to talk about uh, in this video, guys. Uh, thank you for watching, and let me know what you guys think about all these games coming out and what you think about trailers. So, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and as always, have a wonderful day. Peace. Outstanding, Marines! Out-fucking-standing! We kicked ass!